the street is you guys want the deets let's get into it hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is it's been a while let's start there it has been a while this is the first time i am doing makeup a makeup video since the first lockdown and we're in a second lockdown now so it has been like give or take three four months so i am bringing you today a highly requested video which is basically my go-to soft glam type of makeup look and i've been doing this makeup look all the time yeah this is the only makeup look i've done in the past three months i would say i haven't really experimented with other things other eyeshadows other colors i've kept it straight nude neutral very much soft glam disclaimer disclaimer i want to give a disclaimer now because guys number one this isn't necessarily an everyday makeup look unless you want it to be and i very much do stand this isn't necessarily my everyday makeup look which is why i didn't want to like title this updated everyday makeup look because it really isn't my everyday makeup look. it's just a makeup look i've been doing every day only because i want to look like that every day also this is going to be a lot of makeup we are going to wear a lot of makeup my concealer application is going to be heavy foundation application is not going to be that heavy but it's going to be a lot of makeup it's going to be a lot of steps um but trust me it is very very achievable it is beginner friendly like let's grab a seat grab your makeup grab your brushes and we're going to do this together so without further ado let's get into the look please ignore my nails my nails are really really ugly right now like we're in lockdown two we've been here before you know what it is the primer i'm going to be using is my kat von d lock it primer is there something on my face is there something on my face so it's a hydrating primer this one focuses mainly on hydrating as opposed to matte i've completely given up in my pursuit for matte makeup it's never going to work for me and quite frankly i don't really like matte makeup on me my makeup is always going to be glowy i've just accepted for it is i love it anyway not complaining so if you do have oily skin and you're looking for like that matte sort of primer these primers i'm gonna use today i'm not gonna do that like just give up are you not tired I'm going to do about one and a half and I really like to massage this into my skin. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I'm actually low-key cold. I really like to massage that into the skin. My hair looks really black right now. Like looking directly at you guys, you would not think I have dyed my hair. The roots have grown out so quickly, but to be fair, I have been on job with my hair care i'm not even gonna lie so next primer i'm gonna go in with will be my smashbox photo finish primer the reason why i love using this primer is it literally gives me the most phenomenal base i highly 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 encourage you guys if you're not priming your skin or like perfecting your base please start like honestly it makes such a big difference than to just go in straight with foundation or with makeup i've been using my Too faced peach perfect foundation and this is in the shade spiced rum and i've been mixing that with my beauty blender foundation in the shade 4.55c this is really cool and um, this is quite warm so together i want to kind of say maybe it gets kind of neutral now i always apply it to my nose and then i kind of like drag it out force of habit okay and with my morphe m439 brush stand this brush i don't use any other brush to apply foundation and i'm just gonna work that into my skin like i said i always focus on the center of my face i don't like to get foundation too much foundation in my hairline or my jaw because i think it kind of get that sort of like line of demarcation and it looks really i don't like it so i really just focus it in the center of my face and i drag it out there's absolutely no need guys to rush this step like honestly i like to spend a nice comfortable amount of time just perfecting 
and evening out my foundation on my skin because quite frankly if your base is messed up everything else is just going to be messed up so I really like to dedicate quite a bit of my time to just blending this in Alright, boom! And I'm gonna go into my colour blend um, concealer wheel, darkest shade, and I'm just going to go over any blemishes, any dark marks, so that you can't see them. And quite frankly, I like to use a concealer as close to my skin tone. Number one, it doesn't give a cakey look, and number two, I just don't see the point in using a different shade. The concealers I've been using, I've been loving recently, it's still, it is still um, Too Faced, but it's the Born This Way concealers. And I don't know, I mentioned a few times on my channel before, I just couldn't get into these concealers, but this year, I don't know what happened. I just started using it and I was like, wow, this actually slaps. So I use mahogany and I use butterscotch. These are two colours I use. And I always do it at this, against the side of, well, not against the side, not really the side of my nose, just before where my nose starts, if that makes sense, under my eye. And I kind of like to really, I really like to conceal. I really think this is what sets you apart concealer baby I like to conceal completely the top of my lip really makes your lip stand out once you put your lip gloss on I am I'm gonna go in with butterscotch and I only apply this under my eye and above my lip I don't really apply this anywhere else so I just kind of focus in the corners so I just add that in the corners underneath my eyes and just above my lip. Nothing too major. And I think it's just so funny how one minute I'm like, yeah, less is more. Blah, blah, blah. And the next, I'm really caking it on. Like, So now that that's on, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty concealer. So this is my matchstick in ebony. And I'm just going to do the contouring now. And then, oh. I love when my hair is out, I can really do my makeup, that's when I can really do makeup. I personally like to see my highlight to sit and that's because I just think it looks a lot more full coverage when you just let it sit. So that's why I'm going in with my contour and I'm going to blend the contour out first just to really give the, hi um, the highlighter, the concealer time to like, you know, I like to drag first again focusing on the outer part of the line i like to leave this line here so it's really defined but the top part of the line i really do kind of like blend into my skin i don't want to see any harsh lines and i'll still blend this out later on it's just it's just not going to be as blended out as the top part of that line if that makes sense. I'm really trying to explain this how I do it because I want this to be as detailed as possible. I feel like the forehead contour is quite frankly the easiest step. Like it's so easy to blend out. I personally don't like to do too much into the hairline but I think it's important to actually go into your hairline because you don't want that again a line of demarcation. You want it to like your face. <laughs> That's what we're going for. You want it to look like your God-given skin. It's your God-given right, baby. You know, you know, just something light. And the jawline, I don't like to blend this out too much as well because it really sharpens the jawline. Do you, do you see the cut? Do you see the cut? And that's what I like, that's a bit of me. I'm gonna go in with my blender. This blender is not wet. Um, it really does depend on how I feel these days. Sometimes I do have it wet. Sometimes I do have it dry. Again, just focusing on the outskirts. Because I want to try and diffuse that into the contour, you know? As you can see, again, same method. I talk about this so much because it's just so important to me. And I know the concealer is really bright. I like a really bright concealer. 
I'll give yourself. Okay, I am happy with how it's blended out for now. Um, I'm gonna go in the corner and really just press that in. I don't really like to get much on my nose because I don't want it to look any smaller. Or I just don't wanna change my nose basically. So I really just kind of like focus on going up and down. I don't mind dragging it across my lid because my eyeshadow will stand out more. Okay, now that I've blended all of that out, it tends to look really bright because like I said, I really do... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I really do like to have bright under eyes, personally. So with the brush that I use to like blend out my foundation and also my contour, I'm just gonna, you know... Bring that back into the mix to kind of, you know, emphasize that contour a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back in with my blender just to make sure all of that blends seamlessly. Like you really, really want to use your eyes. I think like it's all fun and games me saying, yeah, do this, then do this, then do this. But a lot of the time, I don't always go back in with that brush for contour because i don't always need to but sometimes you do you may need to like just add a bit more of that warmth and that contour back i'm just gonna go back in with some of that butterscotch just in the corner because i like that to really stand out and i'm gonna blend this ever so lightly you see the big difference that makes like sometimes you just have to go back in like if you've done your highlight and contour and you see that under your eye is still quite grey, still quite dark, you're not happy with how bright it is. Babes, go in with a little bit more, like it's not gonna hurt at all. Like I did say, this is a lot of makeup. Okay, I'm done blending, I'm gonna go back in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Ebony and just line my lips. This is like literally my favourite step. If you want your lips to stand out, what are you waiting for? Like, look at, oh, what are you? Do you see that? It really just brought my lips out. So if you're not on this, get on this. I always, always go back in to blend just before I set that. So I'm gonna go and set with my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is in translucent by the way. And I like to look down just to make sure that I'm not getting any creasing. And my priority right now is not necessarily to bake, it's just to set, to make sure everything is in place, doesn't crease, doesn't move. So I use the powder very, very sparingly at this point. So this really makes it look like you have no bags, like you just have eyes just on your face. And I love this. I absolutely love. So if you feel like you have to go in a few more times to blend or to add more concealer just in the corners, like, it is going to make that very big, 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 big difference. Big difference. So everywhere I applied the lighter concealer, I'm just going in with literally very little setting powder. You see, the lids are ugly. They are creased. They are all types of colours. So <laughs> I go in again, exactly what I did with my under eye. I literally blend again for the last time before setting and I'm gonna keep my face at this position so that I don't further crease my lids again like you are sometimes I do have to like repeat certain steps obviously I have days where everything is just perfect the portions are perfect and I don't really have to repeat steps but don't be afraid to repeat steps I feel like because of makeup tutorials people don't repeat steps because you just think someone's just applied it and that's it no they do a lot of their touch-ups off camera for one and two they do a lot of their touch-ups off camera okay now I'm gonna get some more powder push Always get your corners. The corners for me are the most important part of your under eye. We're actually 
actually making progress guys honestly i do take i spend a lot of time on my base i do because i think your base is the most important part of makeup base and skincare most important part of makeup this is my morphe glamour bronze in the shade phenom that i think they do a darker shade than this and i um one mua in the past few months used this on me in a darker shade i'm gonna have to check online because i'm gonna buy it now that i've reminded myself i'm gonna buy it i really don't mind you see how blending in that bronze has kind of like blended out some of my under eye i don't mind that because it really stops you from having like such harsh transitions and lines okay with some of that bronzer i like to also drag it into my lids because it's gonna help the eyeshadow look we're gonna do the next step is my eyeshadow and this is the only palette I've been using for like the past three, four months now, which is so bad because I have so many other palettes that I should be using as well and trying out, but I'm just addicted to this palette. It is also by Too Faced. It's their Palm Springs palette. Like, I love the orange. The only palette I can say that I have that gives me a really nice, warm, dark, brown for my skin tone as well because i'm dark skin so a lot of dark browns don't really show up on me like they're supposed to be. so this palette has it a perfect brown which will be in the corner here if i'm traveling and i want something more compact i will grab this palette and leave my palm springs at home so this is my topaz obsessions and as you can see i use so much of that brown like browns in palettes are absolutely my favorite thing i'm gonna go into that brown shade in the Palm Springs, which is BYOB. I like to angle it like that. So I intensify, intensify, intensify the line. And I'm kind of, basically kind of like mimicking eyeliner up with the eyeshadow. And then all in the wrist, I'm gonna begin to like blend that out. Like, this is literally the only eye look I've been doing, but I just kind of like change how intense it is depending on how I feel on the day and the makeup look I'm kind of going for, even though it's kind of the same thing. Like, this is the easiest eyeshadow you will do. I only use two eyeshadows. The next one, I'm gonna grab this shade, it's called Rum Tiki, and I just place that in the inner corners nothing major nothing too much very subtle very soft very easy this is why I said it's really achievable so I went off to do my other eye um, again I just want to emphasize only two shadows were used next I'm gonna grab my NYX eyeliner and this is epic wear it's in a brown shade and I'm just going to, again, this is going to further, kind of like, it's subtle, but, you know, it makes all that difference. For mascara, let's go in with Kat Von D, and this is Trooper Black, so this is the Kat Von D, oh, just Kat Von D mascara. Cat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara. Looks like this. It's actually a really chunky mascara. I know you see the difference. I mean, what? Mascara is on. A step that I don't miss is just doing my waterline with that same dark sultry. And I'm just gonna. I don't like to go all the way. I like to just do the out part. Because I find that if I go all the way inside, it kind of like closes my eye. Amazing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lashes on off camera. So I don't need any technical difficulties, to be honest. Okay, guys, I am back. I am completely done with my kind of eye look. I added my lashes off camera. So I went for the Tiggs Beauty lashes. And these are in the style Nova. I absolutely 
love these lashes. I've been obsessed with these lashes for months. I think this is the longest time I've ever been obsessed with lashes. I went in on my um, bottom lashes and just applied mascara. So that's all I've done. Just my lashes and my lower lash line mascara. What I'm going to do now is the final steps, really round everything up because we're more or less done, if I'm being honest. And I'm going to speed through this because I don't want my camera to die. Next step is face powder. I really have been loving my Morphe filter effect and this is in filter 13. It's a lot more chocolatey and yeah, it just, it looks a lot more warm on my skin tone than the MAC one, even though the MAC will always be a fave of mine. But I'm, I will check if they actually have darker colors of this because this is amazing. I'm actually gonna create a basket as soon as I finish filming this because the bronzer and the powder I need to get dark shades so anyway uh, this is my large powder brush from Sigma F30 and I'm just going to focus that around my jawline and cheekbone just to really warm it up my forehead like by the time I'm done with my makeup, it literally looks like there's a filter on my skin sometimes. Filter effect, baby! Notice I didn't um, put the powder over my eye area because I like this to be as bright as possible, if I'm being honest. I really like it to stand out in comparison to the rest of my face. And I find that not putting the powder under my eye as well really does help that stand out. And again, just with the brush I used for the powder, I'm just going to go back in just to make sure I'm getting an even blend all over my face. This time I am going to get my nose, chest and neck as well. Now for blush, I'm going to use two blushes, I think. This is my Tech Real Techniques um, brush and my Morphe blush palette. I'm going to go into this shade. If you're not wearing blush, ugh, I'm really disappointed. Look at the difference. You see how this side of my face just looks so flat in comparison to the side that has blush. Why are you not wearing blush? And I like to do a little bit on my nose. Nothing major. So that's literally all I do to my nose. The last step for my face is my brows. I know you guys are probably thinking, why has she not done her brows yet? Like she's actually finished her makeup and there's no brows. I like to do my brows last these days. Um, yeah, they're still gonna be wispy, guys. I'm sorry, I don't think I'm ever gonna stop doing wispy brows. I know some of you dislike it, don't care. And seeing as I am a Benefit Brow Ambassador, it's only right that I use my Benefit Brow products. These are my faves, like absolute faves. I'm gonna go in first with my um, micro filling pen and this is in the shade deep brown i like to shake it up a bit don't do this too much or else you're just going to basically have ink everywhere step my gimme brow plus and I'm just gonna blend that all in so we don't have any harsh lines and lastly 24 hour brow setter just to brush the hairs in the places that I want them to stay okay guys so for the very very last step for this makeup look lips now I love a gloss, it's not going to change. I'm going to go in with my Code 8 lipstick and this is the shade La Piscine. And I just centre that in the centre, I centre that in the centre of my lip. <laughs> that looks so weird right now and ugly, I know. Trust me, it's better. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Destiny Beauty Baby. This is my Destiny Beauty lip glosses. Um, we have shades 22 and brown skin girl. I'm gonna mix these two together again centered I don't know if you can really see the true color okay. Now 
last step and I notice I leave it very much in the middle of my lip I don't like pink shades or nude shades like yeah no center only please then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty gloss bomb and this is in hot chocolate this is literally I use this every day like honestly and I use this to line my lips as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use that lip gloss to line and as I'm lining I'm also blending okay that's a lot more better blended so that is the finished makeup look let me do my hair I'm just gonna do like a ponytail nothing too major um and then I'll be back and we'll talk through like the look and everything and yeah what what <laughs> I'm back I'm done I went for a ponytail that I used in my last vlog have I got lip gloss on my teeth okay I'm good yeah I went for a ponytail that I used in my last vlog it's from Riri hair extensions it's the collaboration with Jess and Eve I'm gonna leave links in the description box as well but this is the finished look I hope you guys absolutely like it I am living for the ponytail if I do say so myself I'm actually living for the makeup look even though I've seen this makeup look like a hundred times already on myself and I was kind of like oh do I really have to film this it's gonna be so anticlimactic. it's just the same as everything I posted but I am very very happy with how it all turned out how it all came together for the greater good um yeah so I think I'm gonna call it a day oh these are the things with synthetic curls like they just are so prone to tangling not that this one is tangling it's just it's just so prone to it so that any little movement you just kind of have to stroke through again just to stop it from tangling because that'll be off and let me know what you guys think of this look i hope you love it i'm gonna leave everything in the description box everything i use as long as oh, this always happens to me. Like, this always happens to me when I finish videos. I'm trying to talk and I just can't get my words out because I'm excited because I think I look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be in the description box along with links um, in case you just want to shop directly as well. The links will be affiliate links. If you want to use them, by all means, help you grow out. If you don't, then <laughs> is what it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do like and share this video and if you aren't subscribed already baby you are here because you're a lady of leisure we all are so subscribe join the family and i think i'm gonna call it a night even though it's actually just early well just yeah late afternoon this 5 26 count as late afternoon it's not really the evening but okay cool boom bye Get the ends in the shot. Can you get the ends in the shot? Let's see the ends, girl. Let's see the ends. <laughs> it's a big look. If you get seen it with me, it's a big look. <laughs>